Hey guys, we are looking at the Cyanogen Mod 11. This is the latest snapshot version. I believe it is M6. Let's see. Yep, it's M6 version, alright. I believe it is the most stable version of Cyanogen Mod 11 for the Galaxy S2 till now. Yeah. I have been using this ROM for a while and it is pretty good. It's very fast and smooth. So you can see no flaws. You can change the scroll effect from here. You can choose a bunch of options from here. Here. And also for the drawer you can choose the scroll effect here pretty cool huh and also i like this sort option sort according to uh, launch count it's cool because it will show up the most uh, frequently used apps here so that I can easily launch it from here I like it and also let's see the wallpapers I really like the Sanjun Mon wallpapers it's very cool very nice of them to include so many nice wallpapers Let's see the settings now. Home screen. This is the Sands and Mods native launcher. Suppose. Actually, the GXI which I installed didn't contain the Google Now launcher. But if you have uh, the GX which contain the Google Now launcher, it will show up here. Don't worry. I don't use Google Now that much, so I didn't install it. Lock screen, you can customize your lock screen from here. Lock screen background, pin security, pin lock. It doesn't have the face lock, it's okay because I don't use it anyway. Let's see, slider shortcuts. Let's see the interface now. Status bar. The battery icon. Uh, also battery percentage, brightness control, notification count. I really like the double tap to sleep because my power button is very, uh, I'd say, it means it's very not, not responsive that much. So it's difficult to press. So I can simply double tap to sleep. Very good. Really nice ROM. Also the sound is very good for this ROM. Better than most of the ROMs, I really like it. See the camera. It doesn't include the photosphere. It's okay, but... Anyway. So if you like this ROM, please check it out. It's really nice. Thank you guys for watching my video.